Hey guys, it's Carlos here at Ultimate Fitness Training 24-7 The Fortnite Lock with Ahmed and Duran here. Uh, me and Duran are one of the trainers here. Ahmed basically owns a Protein Station. Today we are doing a video about how now to basically prepare yourselves for the best, uh, if you like, photo shoot or you can do pre-contest or you can do maybe even holidays or even like literally just to look the great you can be can be um, for whatever you like so just being shaped basically so these guys are basically going to ask me questions um, that they think that are uh, related to that uh, and I'll be able hopefully I'll be able to answer I don't know what they're going to ask me so uh, over to them you know hey, you guys, you're right. yeah. right. so please photo shoot what's your diet been like yeah, basically for, for my photo shoot, I've had a photo shoot in five weeks time, so uh, what I've tried to do, uh, although I've got a clean diet, uh, to answer that question quite, quite basically, uh, what I've done, obviously I've cut down my carbohydrates, so at the moment I'm basically having 350 grams of carbs uh, throughout the day divided by six meals, however I have eight meals but two of the meals are uh, lower carbs. Um, I have um, basically brown rice, sweet potatoes and also oats as, as, as the carb source. Um, I keep it very much, if you like, basic uh, and I keep it very tidy uh, but I don't have more than 350 grams of carbs uh, up to uh, the five, five weeks to go. Um, as I approach obviously the, the, the week that I've got a full shoot, I cut down to uh, 100, uh, 100 grams of carbs and then obviously in the last couple of days I'm probably going to go, uh, depending on how I look, uh, I'm going to go probably zero carbs, but depends how I look really. Um, that's to answer that part. In terms of the diet, obviously is a big general sort of question. Um, in terms of protein, I've kept 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Um, so it was just for the guys that are not so much into, into the diet itself. So what I've done is I divided my weight uh, 1.5 grams times my weight, uh, which at the moment is 14 stone. Uh, and basically uh, I'm having 1.5 grams per kilogram of body weight and that equates to the amount of um, the protein I'm having. In terms of fats source, so I'm having avocados, uh, omega-3, 6 and 9. Um, I take a lot of magnesium uh, and isotol and that's basically the sort of supplements I'm taking. Uh, vitamin B6, B12, uh, all natural stuff by the way. Uh, I don't take, I mean quite, quite, quite simple, I don't take no substances in terms of drugs out there in order to be in this shape. Um, because a lot of the guys obviously know think about in order to be in that shape you need to have to take lots of steroids and stuff like that. I'm not against that, I'm not a favor of that. I mean different really when it comes to that sort of stuff. There is a place and time for that, but not for me. Um, but nothing against that, by the way. And I hope that's answered the kind of yeah, no, question. Really right. Good. Good. I mean, okay, yeah, I just want to ask a bit about your training routine, your training plan. How often do you have to train? How many times a day? Yeah. What's your routine? You yeah, uh, really good question because obviously it, it does differ. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, you speak to loads of like fitness models, people that train, bodybuilders, uh, all sorts of people that train, even personal trainers, and they all say, oh, you've got to train X amount of time, you've got to train X amount of times in cardio or whatever else. And for me, what it works, um, obviously I, I, I kind of like start a regime of 14 weeks to go, imagine 14 weeks time, and what I do is I start very much training every single day, every single day, meaning uh, cardio and weights. Uh, then the last 10 weeks I go twice a day and the last 8 weeks I go 3 times a day meaning I do cardio in the morning, weights, in, weights kind of mid, mid afternoon depending on obviously as you guys know I'm a trainer depends obviously on my, on my schedule and then I tend to do um, abs and cardio in the evening uh, the last 6 weeks, I, the last 5 weeks I do that and that's all I've been on the last 6-5 weeks uh, I'm, I'm training 3 times a day uh, in terms of prodigies, I, I train all all, all, um, all the year more or less the same. The only thing that differs is the intensity levels. Um, so I still train heavy. Uh, some days I train light. However, most of the days, four or five days, I train heavy. Um, but I'm not training to bulk up. I'm training to maintain my muscle, um, and I train correct. Meaning, I only lift the weight I can lift. I don't need to impress anybody. I know sounds quite uh, big ego. I don't need to impress anyone. I've never done that. Uh, I know some guys like well, lots of weight in a bar, lots of growling, and, and you know, nothing wrong with that. I don't do that. I hear lots of guys do that, uh, but I think sometimes it looks a bit silly when you cannot, you know, you can't even do the half of the weight. So there's no point in you putting like loads of weight in trying to keep yourself. So I don't keep myself. If I can't lift it, I don't do it. Um, but I do tend to lift the weight I can lift, um, and that's that's why I train. So I avoid injuries and I train very correct. Uh, and sometimes what I do do find, which works very well for me. Um, I believe you or not, I've got a routine, but sometimes I go to the gym and these guys probably probably see me doing that. I go to, to them and start training with them and they probably think, what the bloody hell is he doing train with me? Um, but I do, I just do whatever. Some days I can't, there's one day a week where I just, if I've got some, I actually look at people in the gym and can't start copying what they do, believe it or not. 
because I'm, it's something completely different that I don't do. So it, it shocks my body because I don't normally do that. So I said, I'm actually done this with Duran the other day. I came in and he gave me a boxing session. Although I'm actually shocking in boxing. He probably will. I mean, he's used to Carlos, Carlos, if you got a CQ, Carlos, Carlos, I've got, I've got quite good coordination, but my technique is terrible in boxing. But uh, although I used to do karate, but it's a completely whole different thing. So this guy's a fantastic guy uh, when it comes to boxing. He's top, top, top trainer. Uh, but he gave me a few sort of like tips in you. Yeah, he's got feet work really. and hand, but I've got to have a couple more sessions with him. But that's basically how it goes in terms of training. Uh, there's more obviously specific details, but obviously I don't want to bore you with it. Jerome? Uh, what's your rest like? Rest. How many hours a night are you getting the rest? Sleeping? That's yeah. Important for your body. Really, really good question. Uh, that is a really good question based on how you sleep. I mean, people think sleep, oh, you need sleep, obviously, but how long you sleep for is very, very important in order to obviously release glucagon. I mean, some of you guys might ask what glucagon is. It's an, a, a, you've got two important um, hormones in your body, which is insulin and glucagon. And glucagon, what it does actually releases the hormone, powerful hormone, to release testosterone levels, meaning, now I don't want to grow, but I want to repair my muscle. So because as I'm working out, my muscles are breaking down, uh, so I've got to make sure I've got enough rest. Years ago, I used to sleep very much five hours, four hours, because uh, I was, you know, uh, working crazy hours. Now I tend to obviously look after myself a lot more, hence the reason I'm becoming my greatest version. So I'm trying to probably, uh, I've got one of them Fitbits and he's telling me that I'm sleeping around about eight hours, eight and a half hours, uh, and I'm kind of breaking my sleep to about six hours without stopping and then I go back to another two hours, which is good. Um, and I think that's why I do tend to sleep around eight and a half hours. For the guys that want to build muscle, I know it's hard sometimes with, with your lifestyle, but try to at least sleep eight hours because that's going to really give it a good, um, obviously, indication on how you develop, which is obviously sleep is really good. Cool. Okay. Does that answer the question? Yeah, it was pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So, I want to ask, so you've got this um, photo shoot. Yeah. Are you on track? Are you, are you where you want to be at this point? Yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, I mean, I, mean so I, I do post, obviously, a lot of images on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, not on Facebook, I don't do Facebook, sorry, on Instagram. Um, I think I am. I, I, obviously, I know I've done this quite several times, so I know my body responds. Uh, the photo shoot, obviously, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I need to be around about six to eight percent body fat. I'm pretty much like 11, 10 now. Um, I know it sounds really big. Let me saying this. I don't want to peak too soon uh, because I can do that. I mean, if I had a photo shoot on Monday, I'd probably be able to. Between now and Monday, I could actually get quite ripped more than I am right now. Um, but I'm, I'm very much on point. Uh, I know what I need to do. Within seven days, I can literally be photo shoot ready if I really want to. Uh, but at the moment, I'm literally on point. So I, what I'm bearing, I'm bearing the, literally the weeks. So within three weeks, four weeks, um, I'll be able to kind of treat my diet, increase my intensity levels, do a little bit more cardio, and I should be able to obviously be actually more. I mean, you guys can see my abs are like quite, quite, quite there. Not there yet. Uh, but obviously, if I drop down my water levels uh, on that particular day, um, when I say particular day, probably three or four days, um, I should be able to, to, to be on that shit. No, it's good to do though. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jerome? That's all for me, mate. That's cool? Uh, yeah, no, thank you. Perfect. Fantastic. So basically, this is just a little, obviously, interview. Um, come a bit towards me because I don't want to see anymore. Um, this is a little interview for you guys just to, 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 to basically give you a little bit more um, information about how to prepare yourself for. for um, Obviously, that doesn't have to be a photo shoot, it could be anything. It could be obviously if you go on a holiday, it could be a special date, it could be a special vacation, whatever it is. Um, I'd like to actually do this with Jerome as well because uh, he's, he's an amazing uh, uh, boxing coach. So I'd like to obviously do the same interview, which is we'll probably do in a couple of days, uh, how to obviously become uh, ready for, for, for basically for a fight. Yeah, which is, which is, to be honest, a lot of people do that. And how did you become rich to be ready to just you know, for self defense, which is great to have that as well. Um, and one of the things as well, I wanted to say this, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, you guys know I work out 24 7 for the lot. We've got an amazing team of trainers here, as well as people that work behind the scenes as well. Obviously, we've got Ben, Daisy, that really help these guys in this place to become obviously our greatest, if you like, versions. Um, Ahmed, as well, obviously, he owns the uh, protein station. He's one of the reasons why, obviously, my physique is getting better as well, because this guy basically does two to three sort of fruit and protein shakes for me every single day uh, and also provide some of the food that I actually um, acquire every day. So they are helping me to, to, to do that. I don't do just on my own. It's not something that I do all on my own. These guys really help me to do that. And also as well, it's a great team, it's a great place to work, great place to obviously get fit, great place, great trainers. Um, there's a variety of things here and great food as well. So if you guys got a time and space, 
uh, and obviously um, want to get fit, this is the place to, to obviously come. It's Fort Dunlop at 24-7 uh, Fort Dunlop in Birmingham, um, and basically we're here. So if you want to find me, find me on Carlos, uh, Carlos Trainer 10 on Instagram, on, um, on YouTube, Carlos Trainer. And until next time, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit with this team. Take care of yourselves. Bye now. Bye.